Hello everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and welcome to Tuesdays with Michelle. We are going to talk a little bit about the uh, spot healing brush. Now if you have version 9, 10, 11, or 12, the spot healing brush came about in version 9. So you should have that if you have any of those versions. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just crop this down a little bit got the horsey here and as you can see there is a little bit of a um, issue with this photo so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit and what I want to do is I want to get rid of this line here but first of all I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer so we can see the before and after alright so the next thing I am gonna do is I'm going to go over and get my spot healing brush it is on the left hand side um, <clears throat> it's about I don't know, it's not in the middle, but it's on the upper uh, second column there. And you can press J on your keyboard and you will also get to it. Now, notice down here you've got the spot healing brush and you've got the healing brush. We're going to be talking only about the spot healing brush right now. And also the type is going to be the content aware. So go ahead and make sure that content aware is checked down here. The size of the brush depends on how much area you want to get rid of. So if I come out here and I click and drag, I can check and see if that spot healing is going to take it out with that thick of a brush or if I have to go back and make my brush size a little bit smaller. I think what I'm going to do is Command Z that and I'm going to make my brush size a little bit smaller so I can either A go down here to the size and move this down to make it smaller or I can use my right bracket or my left bracket to make it larger or smaller. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the area that I want to spot heal. So I'm going to click and go ahead and see if that does the trick and I'm going to click and drag around the area that I want to get rid of and I want to get rid of this shadow as well and you can play around again with um, the size of the brush because that could make a difference in how this works now this is um, an easy one because the horse hairs um, are basically all similar so you might not get the same effect with something that you do so let's go ahead and click and drag through here and then I want to get rid of this one as well so I'm just going to click and drag and you might have to go back in and do some, a little bit of an adjustment um, if you need to with maybe your um, clone stamp tool or whatever you need. Let's go ahead in there. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Go ahead and see what I can do with this. That didn't look so good, so Command-0 or Command-Z. And let's just go ahead and do it in smaller increments. And that does the trick. You might have to zoom in a little bit tighter just to see but mm, command Z that one didn't do so good let's go a smaller brush size and then we should be good to go with that now let's go ahead and see the before and then the after let's do one more photo or maybe two more photos let's just check this one here now this one might work out pretty good because of, again because of the water so I want to get rid of this guy right here so I'm just going to click and drag around the area I want to get rid of and maybe I want to get rid of this area here and then this girl right here and let's just see what happens if we try to get rid of this whole thing here and I did it in little segments so that we can yeah there we go so that was pretty easy let's go ahead with one more and then we will complete this lesson alright so this one might be a little bit more tricky because it is such a big area but let's just say we wanted to get rid of the little girl's hand in there. She's trying to give him the peace sign, and let's get rid of that. So I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to do a big old chunk and see what happens. It doesn't look too bad, but I do see that there is some um, a little bit of that pink from her sweater is kind of in there. So we will see what we can do about that. And a lot of times you're going to see that it was there, but other people would not know that it was there. So I'm just going to go in there and just do a whole big area here. 
My puppy is being a little bit honory right now, so he's distracting me. Now this is where you probably would go back in there, and if you know how to use the clone stamp, you might want to go ahead and do some doctoring with that clone stamp tool. So if you don't know how to use that tool, I do have a bunch of lessons inside the membership area. If you want to become a member, you can do that. Or if you just want to try it out for uh, a three days, we have a three-day membership uh, for free so you can check that out and learn a little bit more about digital scrapbooking again we're using Vo uh, Photoshop Elements version 12 but if you want to find out a little bit more about um, National Association of Digital Scrapbookers just go ahead and jump in to our site naods.com take a look and see when we're going to have our upcoming classes uh, we have memberships we have yearly we have six month memberships and my doggy is going to be in trouble after this taping he's tugging on my um, my areas right here my there we go alright little guy <laughs> he's a little stinker sometimes but if you do want to take a look inside the membership area just go ahead and do a three day uh, free membership or if you are a member we have tons and tons of free videos inside there when you once you become a member we do have live webinars for all of our members a couple of them per month um, what I would suggest is going in there starting out with the introduction of whatever version you are using we are working on version 12 right now but we um, do have version 11 version 10 and version 9 and then we also have many many hours of all different kinds of classes inside there so thanks for joining me and have a great day bye bye